Hi guys! So today I am finishing up the first few pages in the front of my 2020 bullet journal. Um, this one that I'm creating right now is going to be a birth chart because I'm really hoping to delve deeper into astrology this year. It's something that I've never really worked much with. Um, I always found it fascinating, especially when you can generate a birth chart on sites like Cafe Astrology or AstroSeek, and they give you a little bit of a, almost like a synopsis of what the certain things mean. But I've always wanted to delve a little bit deeper into it, like what are the aspects and what do the houses mean and things like that. It's actually quite a lot to delve into when you look up astrology. I think that's one of the things that kind of intimidated me about it. There's just so much to learn. But I'm hoping to actually put in some time this year and look further into it. So on the page itself, I'm actually including a list of the planets, the zodiac sign that they're in, as well as the number of the house that they're in, just for easy reference. And then beside that on the page, I'm adding in a graph that shows the different aspects between the planets. An aspect is when the planets make a certain angle to each other in your birth chart. So I'm adding an extra little piece of paper here at down at the bottom just to put notes and more information on later and I tried to make it look like a little bit like a burnt kind of scroll almost. It is tea stain paper that I made with sketchbook paper although the tea staining really didn't hold very well. It's very very light um, but I ended up burning the edges of it and it was quite a messy process. <laughs> Now, a solar return chart is when the sun returns to the exact same point as when we were born. This will give us a look at the year ahead from one birthday to the next. And since I was born in late September, I'm putting my 2019 return in here. So for the next pages, I'm adding my social media trackers, starting with my YouTube. I wanted to have a spread at the front of my journal to where I could keep track of video ideas, milestones, and those sorts of things. So I wanted to do like a lined page kind of thing on here and I just got these zebra mild liners. I've never really used them before but I've seen so many other bullet journalers just kind of swipe it across the page and it looks so nice. 
but I can't quite seem to get the hang of it on this page. For my milestones page, I decided to do little play buttons, and I just kind of freehanded these. And I even hit my 50 subscriber milestone before I got this video finished. So thank you so much for subscribing, you guys. On this page, I'm just leaving myself some space to put down ideas for my Book of Shadows videos or my bullet journal videos, really whatever else I think of filming. My next tracker is for my Instagram and I'm going with the same kind of layout just to keep them keep them consistent. I don't really post a lot to Instagram. Um, I'm hoping to change that next year though. Now, as you can probably tell, I really like repeating number sequences. I see these all the time. Leave a comment down below if you see these too. I'm getting a little bit better with the zebra mild liners. <laughs> adding a little finishing touch here by shading in the page with pencil crown. So I've really been playing with the idea of opening a Patreon account. I wanted to have a platform where I could do live Q&As, um, offer printables for bullet journals or book of shadows, maybe do some behind the scenes stuff. I think that'd be really fun. So on this page, I'm just leaving myself a little bit of space to kind of flesh out some of the ideas that I had. So the next page is going to be for my financial tracking. I'm adding in a little savings tracker here. I hope eventually, um, well our plan is for in five years to buy property and build a log cabin on it. So we've been saving as much as we can and we really haven't gotten that far. Um, I managed to save a thousand dollars last year. So this year I'm hoping to save two, three thousand dollars and put that towards our 
our property fund. So below that, I am adding in a ODSP tracker. My husband is on disability. Um, he is a former veteran. And I have to calculate what his income is and what the deductions are each month. And on the other side, I'm putting in a tracker for our credit cards. This will have the balance and what we paid off each month. So I'm adding a quote to the bottom of the page and this is actually part of a spell that I use to draw prosperity to me and I kind of bless the page with this. Now the quote is, I open the path to wealth without end. The money I need the universe will send. Bills will be paid, my coffers overflow, my worries released, my wealth will grow. I hope you enjoyed watching this setup. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye!